Social justice. Social justice. Social justice. Social justice. Social justice. Social justice. Concordia has a real commitment to social justice and human rights. We teach people to respect each other, to respect each other's cultures, to respect each other's beliefs, and to be more accepting of the dignity of all human beings. That's a very important impact. The Wilson Bean Project is a project designed to conduct research uh, to help national governments and the United Nations to put in forth policies to prevent uh, future mass atrocity crimes. It's important to bring lofty concepts like social justice and human rights down to earth to see how we can enact them in our everyday lives and in the institutions that we inhabit. The Max Turn Art Restitution Project is led by Concordia University towards advancing research and the recovery of paintings lost to Dr. Max Stern during the Nazi era when his gallery, the Gallery Stern in Dusseldorf, was forced to close. One of the key moments of the project at its onset was the organization of an exhibition by Dr. Catherine McKenzie and her students. Spreading knowledge about how complex art looting was during this period. And that is saying, you know, yeah, you can find this stuff again. It's not impossible. The collection is an important resource in terms of memory and remembrance because it's a testimony to an event that is hard to fathom and hard to imagine and hard to conjure and hard to understand. But I think at the same time, by learning about those events that stretched over a number of years in Europe, it's a reminder to individuals that evil can exist in a manifold number of ways. We have something like 16 or 17 student interns who monitor a country in the language of that country and post their reports on the MIGS website here at Concordia. And that MIGS site is monitored by people at the UN, in governments, in regional organizations, and in NGOs. If we teach them now about it, and if we get those ideas embedded strongly in their psyche and their cultural understanding of each other and the way they relate to each other and their jokes, then hopefully when they become the voting population and the leaders of that population, those issues will be forefront, prioritized, and we'll live in a better world.